There are two types of people in the world, the entrepreneur and the nine to fiver. And both of these lifestyles have different advantages to them and different disadvantages to them. So in order to choose which lifestyle works best for you and also to understand what each path entails, then it is very important to understand the difference between these two choices. So the entrepreneur. Entrepreneurship is way more risky than the nine to five because in the nine to five, you get the job, you get the revenue, but there are going to be points when you are an entrepreneur and this is primarily in the beginning where you may go weeks or even months, depending on what you're doing, without making any income. So that's the main risk of being an entrepreneur. But basically, after all that risk, comes a lot of rewards. So entrepreneurs get to call all the shots that they make. So entrepreneurs, what basically happens is they get to choose what work they do, how they do it, when they do it, and everything else. They have full control over what they do. Now, depending on what type of person you are, that can either help you or hurt you. Entrepreneurship requires a lot of dedication and You also need to have a lot of self-confidence as well in order to pursue certain things that many people would think are impossible. So you do get more control as an entrepreneur, and that control means that there is no earning ceiling. So while maybe, depending on the job that you get, maybe there's a particular earning ceiling where you can't earn more than this much revenue each year, entrepreneurs What they do is they make more revenue by, let's say, creating a product and marketing that product, and they keep that process. So basically, the more work you put in, the more you're going to get rewarded as long as that work is smart work. So it's a stronger incentive as an entrepreneur to put in more work. And some entrepreneurs will, what they'll typically do is they'll escape the 40 hour per week job just so they can work 80 hours per week on entrepreneurship. So in many cases, you are working more often as an entrepreneur, but that's because you love what you do. And the work that you do impacts your success as an entrepreneur. Now, with that said, even though entrepreneurs typically put in a lot of work, they have a less rigid time schedule. So if you want to take a break, you have full control over that. If you want to put in a lot of work at a certain time, you have full control over that. So you call a lot of the shots within your life when you become an entrepreneur. So that means there's no commute if you work from home and it's just a less rigid time schedule. So now let's go into the nine to fiver. The nine to fiver, it's a safer spot, more security. You're going to receive the paycheck if you show up and you do the work as you are told. Now, if that said, there is an earnings ceiling, so you sign a contract, you say this much per year. So unless you get a raise, that's going to be your earnings ceiling. And yes, there's a rigid time schedule where you're expected to show up at certain times. So from this time to that time, usually from nine to five. And in many cases, there is also a commute. But the key thing about the nine to five is that it does provide the security if you are looking for a guaranteed paycheck. Many people in the nine to five who want to become entrepreneurs find it very difficult to switch because they want to become entrepreneurs and they want to follow that journey. But the problem is becoming an entrepreneur requires that you give up that security. And that is something that a lot of people really don't want to do, especially when they're families, they're raising kids or something like that, where you need to have the money in order to sustain the life you are currently living. So what do you do when you want to switch from the nine to five to the entrepreneur, but you don't want to give up the security? The answer is that you become an entrepreneur part-time. And by becoming an entrepreneur part-time, you are able to get a better idea of whether this is the right path for you without taking that monumental jump where you go from nine to five with the security to zero security, more risk, but also being an entrepreneur. So you want to start out as a part-time entrepreneur 
then learn your craft, and then as you begin to implement and put in more work, that's when maybe you start to see more revenue, and then maybe as you get more revenue, that's when you can successfully make the switch from 9 to Fiverr to Entrepreneur. All of the work I'm doing as an Entrepreneur right now is currently part-time because I'm still a student in high school. So if you really want to be a successful Entrepreneur and you're in that 9 to 5 job, you can do part-time, maybe just 30 minutes a day or an hour a day, nothing extreme, just enough so that you are doing the work every single day and getting some results. And the key thing about whether you are a part-time or full-time entrepreneur is that efficiency allows you to grow. So if you are able to find ways to make certain methods get accomplished faster or you outsource some of your workload, that will give you more time that you can repurpose to new opportunities that will allow you to generate a bigger profit. So if you are looking to switch, make it gradual, start with a part-time entrepreneur so that you still have the security and then build that into something where you are only shifting from nine to five to entrepreneur when you feel confident enough and secure enough with the entrepreneurial lifestyle. That is all for this lecture. I hope it has served you. And what I want you to do is to dream big, achieve greatness, and unlock your potential today.